The topic I was given tonight was on shukr. Shukr, which is gratitude. Can everybody hear me? Can you hear me loud and clear? All right. And uh, inshallah, I just want to, I want to um, like really, really press the issue about how important this virtue is. This is a spiritual virtue. And I know you've been, you'd have been talking to Sheikh Mudassar and his wife, uh, sister, you know, Sheikh Aisha, about perfecting the character. And this is one of the branches of purification of the heart. And it does, so it doesn't matter if you're talking about makarm al akhlaq, whether you're talking about pure, uh, uh, beautifying the character, perfecting the character, or you're talking about matharat al kulub, you're talking about purifying the heart. The spiritual virtues are the same. In order to reach your goal, the spiritual virtues are the same. So when you read the books of Teskiyah, like they all are talking about the same type of virtues, spiritual virtues. So if you're going to reach Ihsan, spiritual excellence, <clears throat> you have to pass through these stations. All right? You have to, you know, you have to, there's stations that you have to pass through. So if you just wake up one day and you say, man, I really need to get myself together, man, I want to purify my heart, I want to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If, if you look in the books of Teskiyah, the first thing that they tell you that you have to do is you have to make tawbah. And you have to make a transformative tawbah. I'm not just talking about the two rakats that you normally make, you know, when you know you've done something wrong, you've done a major sin, and then you make tawbah, that's not the tawbah I'm talking about. The tawbah that's going to change your life, that's the type of tawbah that you have to make. And then they tell you, you have to go on from there. The very next thing that you have to do is you have to do mujahada. You have to begin wrestling and fighting with the self. Okay, you have to force yourself to really be Muslim, the self. You may say, oh, I'm already a Muslim. That's just outward Islam. There's an inward Islam. You have to make your nafs accept Islam. The way you make your limbs accept Islam. Your limbs, Salat, Zakat, Ramadan, Hajj. Inwardly, you have to make your nafs accept everything that Rasulullah came with. Even though yourself doesn't like it or, does, or rejects it. And then you have to go on from there. And you have to learn sabr, patience, and shukr, gratitude. And then you have to go on from there. And you have to learn khawf, wal raja, right? This having fearful awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, having hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> it is the type of fear that drives you to do something about your situation, about yourself. And hope that drives you to do something about yourself, improving yourself. And then you go on from there. And you have to strive to have ikhlas. Sincerity. Like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, Akhlasni bi wajhik al kareem. Oh Allah, make me sincere for your noble countenance. And then you go on from there and you learn tawakkal. How to truly, truly rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then from there you learn zuhud. Zuhud is only taking from the dunya exactly what you need, not in excess. And then lastly, 
love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's not mixed with love of anything else. This is a long journey. I was just in Egypt a few weeks ago. And I was talking to the Sheikh about this. And this was a very, very, like, he's like one of the top hadith shuyukh in the world. He's been on every continent and won the hadith competition everywhere. He's memorized all of the six books, Bukhari, Muslim, Muwatta, Imam Malik, Nisa'i, Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, Abu Dawood. He's memorized them by heart. But I had to ask him, I said, you know, because he's memorized these Maliki fiqh books and he's memorized, the, you know, like on top of the Quran, he's memorized all, he's, like his whole life is just knowledge. And I said, you know, Shaykh, you know, like everybody's not going to get a chance to <laughs> memorize 40 hadith rather than 40,000. And he told me, Tabari, it's all about traveling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. He said, you know how many people travel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have minimal knowledge. And then we began talking about this, these states and these stations that you have to pass through. So if you're going to perfect your character, if you're going to purify your heart, you have to inculcate all of these spiritual virtues that I just mentioned after you have removed their opposites. And I'm not going to get into that because that's a lecture by itself. <clears throat> if you have to pick one virtue that you want to perfect, it should be shukr. It should be gratitude. Because the opposite, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls it disbelief. Disbelief. The ulama say about shukr, they say that they say, I won't to that. yes, Siri. <laughs> they say that it's the most important virtue because if you think about Tawbah, what's <laughs> going on? Siri's taking over. They say that Tawbah, you will not need Tawbah in Akhirah. There's no tawbah in akhirah. Either you made tawbah here, or you didn't. There's no sabr in akhirah. Either you were patient with your trials and tribulations here, or you weren't. There's no zuhud. There's no staying away from the dunya in akhirah. None of those other spiritual virtues follow you into akhirah. You only get your chance to practice them here. But shukr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in the end, we will all say, We will still say that in akhirah. You will still have gratitude in akhirah. That is the importance of shukr, shukr.